Hello everyone! I wanted to make this video in an interesting place, but the weather outside is shit, so I decided to make this video inside my home. But that's okay, I'm gonna make the next video there. And because it's cold outside, I'm gonna make some tea. Do you want one? Well, I'm gonna make one just in case. And while the tea is boiling, I quickly just want to say thank you to a YouTuber called Tea Baby for being very supportive in the comment section. Yes, I read the comments. Okay, let's set up a nice room feeling and get started. You see, I work in retail and that means I have to deal with a lot of angry customers every day. And I also make YouTube videos, which means that I also have to deal with a lot of haters. And today I want to talk about how angry customers are pretty much the same thing as haters. You see, I have a very small channel on YouTube. I have 350 subscribers and I usually get approximately 200 views per video. And in YouTube world that pretty much means that I don't even exist. If you're small on YouTube, it's no surprise that people will hate on you. Either you become big on YouTube and people will stop hating on you, or you just give up because you can't handle the negativity. That's just how it works, there's no other way. So how it is related to angry customers? When I started working in retail, they made us watch this video about good customer service and shit. And I remember it saying, if a customer is rude or angry, that you have to remember that most probably they were angry before they even entered the store. And that we should never take it personally. They might have had a bad day and they're just taking it out on you. But it's not about you. And I think that the same thing applies to haters. Just think about it. When you make a video and someone writes, your videos suck, go kill yourself. Well, maybe your videos don't suck and maybe you shouldn't kill yourself. Maybe the person is just annoyed that you're making videos and doing something with your life while they're just lying on their parents' couch eating chips all week and doing shit. So they just get envious, you know? I don't know. With every video that I make, there's at least one or two people writing something hateful. And I usually try to ignore it if it's not something that I could actually work on. And I don't mix hateful comments and objective criticism, because those are two different things. But most of the comments are anonymous and silly. For example, the previous video that I made about the languages, someone just wrote that I should shove up that English up my ass. What am I supposed to do with that comment, you know? But then I also received a comment that I wanted to talk a bit more about. It was from a Latvian YouTuber called Cilvaks Artkameru, or a man with the movie camera. Which is a reference to Zigovertov's movie, I assume. He wrote, You don't have a chance. Neither you have billion viewers, nor do you have two million. Not even a thousand. Th your videos are boring. You see? Typically, I wouldn't give a shit about a comment like that. But what surprised me the most was that this is one of the Latvia's biggest YouTubers. He has made over 390 videos and he has almost 30,000 subscribers, which for Latvia is huge. Why would a YouTuber with over 5 million views waste their time on writing hateful comments on a very small channel? I figured if I would ever be that famous, I would love to write comments that would inspire other people to keep trying. I don't think I've ever made a hateful comment on someone's attempt to do something with their lives, even if they actually suck, because who the hell am I to tell people how to live their lives? And then I reminded myself that it's probably not about me. It's about himself. Most probably it's his own life that is not so great. I mean, he makes some valid points. I don't have billion viewers and I don't have two million viewers, but neither does he. So this is how angry customers and haters are similar. 
What I wanted to say with this video is that if you're going to try to do something with your life, people will talk shit about you. There's no escaping that. But what you have to do, you can't let them get to you. Just do what you want to do and fuck the people who hate on you just because their own lives suck. Cheers, and I'll see you in a few days.